Good morning, everybody. I would like to welcome you all to our 2022 annual meeting. My name is Kara Clements, and I'm the Vice President of Marketing and Financial Education here at Call Federal. And I will, I will be the moderator today for this virtual event. So before we get started, I'd like to run through just a couple of quick technology notes about today's meeting. First, if you have any questions, please select the Q&A symbol at the top of your screen. A dialog box will then appear for you to submit your question. We will try to answer any questions we can today, and if we can't get to it, we will follow up with you with any additional questions afterwards. So during today's meeting, we will be referencing two documents, our 2021 annual report and our 2021 annual meeting minutes. These documents were linked in the email confirmation you received yesterday and today, and they're on our event page on our website, which you'll see the address at the top here, and they are, oops, About halfway down the page, you can link out to those two documents. During the meeting, you'll also be asked to vote on two motions approving our 2021 annual meeting minutes and an approval to adjourn. During that time, a slide will appear on your screen for you to select yay or nay. So here's our agenda for the morning. Our Chairman Jim Horn will kick off the meeting and share some highlights from our 2021 annual report. And then we'll turn it over to Julian White, our Board Treasurer, for his report. And before closing out the meeting, typically our President and CEO, John West, will talk about the state of the credit union. Unfortunately, today John is under the weather and is unable to join us. But not to worry, we have JT Blau, our VP of Risk, who will be sharing our State of the Credit Union, and helping us kick off our 60th anniversary celebration. So again, I'd like to welcome you today. And after determining that there is a quorum, I will officially call Call Federal 2020 Annual Meeting to Order at 11.04 a.m. on March 19th. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Jim Horn, our chairman, who has served on the board for more than 25 years. Thank you for your service, Jim, to the credit union, and I'd like to invite you to get us started. All right. Thanks, Kara. Uh, first, I'd like to welcome everyone to the meeting um, today. And the first agenda item that we have is the approval of the uh, me uh, meeting minutes from 2021. So, do I have a motion that we approve the minutes? So moved. Second. All in favor, please vote. Okay, next up, I'd like to just give you a couple of key highlights uh, from the chairman's message, which is in the annual report. Um, first, the supply chain issues and other service disruptions are everywhere. We are grateful for John and the team for facing these challenges and responding to them with service first mentality and actively living our, our mission every day. Um, one of the things I admire about the current team is the commitment to continuous improvement wanted to give you a couple examples uh, of the improvements. We've upgraded our loan application for more modern user experience and an easy-to-use interface for uploading documents. We, up, we upgraded our mortgage 
uh, portal receive, you know, updated our mortgage portal, easier to use on smartphones and tablets, as well as a streamlined online payment. Um, in closing, the state of our credit union is strong. We have an excellent staff and a dedicated leadership team guiding the way forward, even amidst continued uncertainty. Thank you all for your contributions and for the honor of serving as your chairman. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jim. Next up, we have our treasurer, Julian White, who has served and shared his expertise as a CPA with our board for the last 10 years. Julian, please tell us about the financial health of Call Federal. Okay. Uh, 2021 was a great year. Uh, we ended the year December 31st, 2021, in a good financial position. And looking at the slide, you can see it's a summary, and these are some of the takeaways from the detailed numbers that you will look at in the annual report. A highlight, call increased loans by $12 million. Members deposited $61 million during the year, and our net worth ratio remained, remained strong at 9.46%. Um, again, I'll be rounding, but looking at the key performance metrics, Assets, we ended the year at 538 million. Shares, 486 million. Loan growth for the year was 4.82%. And net income, we ended the year, I'm rounding out to 2 million, but you can see 1,991,000. Um, when we look at that net income number, it's a little higher than the last few years, but if you look at the details, statements, you will see that expenses were very favorable during the year of 2021, as well as in this other income that was a favorability and a one-time special item received. So that contributed to the uh, 2 million net income number. And as mentioned, our balance sheet net worth ratio, which we always highlight, is 9.46% because we're required uh, by the National Credit Union Administration to maintain 6%, so we are well above that percentage. And lastly, we just uh, we wanted to show just some five trend graphics of assets, shares, and loans based on the numbers that we just mentioned. You can see as far as assets. During the year, we ended up at 538 million, and we remain beyond 500 million as of today. So we're truly a 500 million credit union. Uh, as far as shares, money entrusted for us, uh, call to invest and to give back to our members through loans and so forth. We we're at 486 million, so there was an increase there between the prior year. And lastly, we were able to utilize those funds and those funds and to increase loans to 261 million. And just in summary, again, you'll keep hearing me emphasize um, that we ended the year, fiscal year 2021 at 9.46% for the four network. And so we are definitely in compliance and above. That concludes the treasurer's report. Thank you, Julian. Now, I'd like to turn it over to JT Blau, our VP of Risk, to tell us about how Call Federal is still living the mission that we set out to achieve for the last 60 years. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Kara. Uh, as she mentioned, uh, this is usually the part of the program where you would hear from uh, our CEO, John West, um, but he's under the weather today, so I am filling in. Um, and as you've seen and heard, 2022 marks uh, 60 years uh, since nine Philip Morris employees got together and decided they wanted to provide their fellow employees and their families with financial services, and Call Federal Credit Union was born. Over the years, we've certainly grown, adding new members, new branches, and new products, but we still have at our core some of the same principles from the start, promoting thrift, providing access to credit and other financial services, financial education, and improving the financial lives of our members. As part of my role here at Call Federal, I meet with state and federal legislators and tell them our story. I talk to them about the importance of financial education, small dollar loans, and other things that credit unions have done for our members that set us apart and will continue to do so in the years to come. 
2021 brought financial challenges to many of our members, and no two members are in the exact same situation. Uh, one member came to us looking for a car loan, but she was worried about the monthly payment as vehicle prices were rising. Another member told us that she wanted to teach her children about the value of saving, but she couldn't find a meaningful savings rate for children at a bank. Another member came in and needed to improve his credit score, but he didn't know what steps to take first. If we can be there as a trusted partner and offer a helpful service, no matter the situation, in a friendly and non-judgmental way, we're fulfilling our mission and continuing the legacy of the credit union members who signed the Call Federal Charter in 1962. As we prepared for this meeting and reflected on the history of the credit union, we thought a lot about family. We have so many members who have brought their spouses, their children, their grandchildren in, and more to open a, an account here with Call Federal. Personally, I recently got married, and one of the first things my wife and I did to start our new life together was to come to Call Federal and open a joint savings and checking account. It gives us a tremendous sense of pride to see someone who came to Call Federal because of the service that their parents or grandparents received, but they choose to stay with Call Federal because of the service that they received. So with that backdrop, we'd like to share a short video commemorating six decades of service-first banking for Richmond families and the legacy we're building on every day. If you, you think of everything that's happened over the last 60 years, consumer behavior is different. They have different expectations. So for credit unions to continue focusing on our members while adapting to everything that's changed is the biggest hurdle for us, but it is also something that Call Federal is very proud of. We take care of the grandparents who then bring in their children who bring in their children. It's a cycle that's been occurring since we opened in 1962. Very nice to see you. I'll be 91 years old next month. I worked for Philip Morris for 50 years, and it cost me 25 cents to join the Call Federal Credit Union. They always work with the members to do whatever they could to help them. Members come first. They've done enough business with us that they understand they will be doing business with our children and their children. There's Bill. Hi, Bill. Their integrity, the friendliness of them always made you feel welcome. That's what made me stay with Call Federal so many years. I've been a part of this family for 51 years. They offer all of the products and services that you would find at a larger banking institution. Uh, but I think what makes us different is that you get that service, but personalized to you. Your finances are safe. You know, you have someone that's on your side. I've been a member of Call Federal for 35 years. You know, when it came up for the savings accounts for the kids, I go, this is a great way to teach math and responsibility. I always tell everyone I'll never bank anywhere else. But credit unions across Virginia have an incredibly important role to play in uh, financial security. The deposits you make recirculate here in the community and, and make it stronger. We prefer Call Federal. The people who help you at the counter are always nice and happy to see you. When I came to the bank, Roger would come up and talk to me. So we became close friends. He wanted it to be a personal experience, not a commercial experience. This kind of personalized service approach continues up until the very present day. And John and the current management team have really protected and nurtured that element of the culture of Call Federal. They always are quick to help you no matter what. Since the founding of Call Federal in 1962 with Philip Morris, our mission has been to serve our members first. That is what we do on a daily basis. It is how every decision is made. Since then, we have grown from basically a $20 million credit union 40 years ago to a $450 million credit union today. The fact that Call Federal is celebrating its 60th year anniversary is, is a little uh, surreal to me. It's really important to me to carry that culture. Ensure Call Federal feels the same way it does now in another 60 years. It's a game changer. I've never had a bad experience. I gave them the right tools through Call Federal to be successful financially. And my legacy will live on once I'm gone.
Thank you guys. Now I'd like to turn it back over to Jim Horn to close us out. Um, once again, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us this morning. Um, so the final item on our agenda is do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor, vote please. All right, and with that, the motion has passed for us to adjourn. And I'd like to thank you again for your time today and thank you to our board and our speakers for sharing what makes you so proud to be part of the Call Federal Community. Thank you all so much for joining us.